Hey friends, nothingwire.com and we have the brand new Nikon Coolpix L820 here. For all of you who believe in megapixels and zooms, this camera is for you. You see, it has an incredible 30x optical zoom which is the USP of the L820. Apart from that, this guy shoots at 16 megapixels still and full HD movie. So you see in front you have the Nikkor lens with a 1x2.3 inch sensor. It has this focal range of 4 uh, up to 120mm and then aperture range here. f by 3.0 all the way up till f by 5.8. Not exactly your fastest lens but then this camera is aimed at a person who believes in or who wants to capture the moment rather than going after the quality at the highest level. So on the front, apart from the lens, you have the autofocus assist button there. Then on the lens you have zoom button there. There you see. And then you'll have the pop-out flash that will pop out when you press this. There you see. So that's the flash button. So on top you have the shutter release button, the zoom lever and the power button, your speakers, both the eyelets for your lanyard and your mic. On the back you have the LCD screen with a dedicated video button. You have a dedicated scene mode button, playback, multi-selection dial there with OK button, menu and delete. So pretty much the usual stuff here. Below you will have the tri tripod mount plus your battery and SD card compartment here. So let's quickly go and switch on this camera and you can see you can operate it from both this as well as this. Now so that's the display you can see all sort of information here. So in the menu you have a you have an image menu, image mode, there you see, then you have a video menu, movie options, then you have a setup menu. So this is in auto mode, so you do not have much options there. You can go to scenes from here, so all the scenes are available. So that's playback. In playback you have all these options of retouching and editing and correcting your delighting and other stuff. Yeah, so that's pretty much about it. So pretty much your usual camera but then if you would rather um, have a camera that will capture distant photos and have a very nice resolution at the cost of the quality and sensor size then you can opt for this one. Thank you.